Welcome back. We take root downward to bear fruit upward. Today, I, I'm gonna try to tackle these potatoes I have in my garden. Um, we're getting a frost on Thursday and I have sweet potatoes, so I'm just gonna go and take them all out. And um, David's at work, so I'm gonna be trying to do this myself. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I just keep looking at this bed of potatoes and I'm just thinking, ah, <laughs> where do I start? <laughs> uh, I need my right hand man. He's at work over there. I don't know, I can do this though, right? <laughs> so here's my bed of potatoes. And I guess I'm gonna start on this other end, so come along <laughs> so I'm starting to see some potatoes I started digging up a little bit these are like on the ground like breaking through there's a purple yellow and there's a sweet these are not good when I find these we have to eliminate them <laughs> so I've been pulling up all the vines and have my little piles everywhere and starting to collect my potatoes haven't even started digging yet <laughs> so i've been finding quite a few potatoes outside of my flower bed that's a first for me <laughs> so i've been out here for about an hour and digging through the dirt and not finding very many potatoes and just started kind of getting down about it. Um, you know, first thing I was like wanting to get frustrated and mad because I've been out here digging and my last season of potatoes was amazing. And you know, the year before, the year I started was really good also. Um, as I'm sitting here, it was like the Lord reminded me, you know, that not all the times we're thankful for when he gives us stuff. And then, you know, it may be because he wants us to reflect on things he already given us and to be grateful. I'm not sad about the potatoes. It was just the Lord's teaching me a lesson and it's just in the small things just to know to be grateful and be thankful even when, you know, we want something to happen and go our way and it doesn't, we're still supposed to be thankful and be joyful in those times also. And sometimes we lose track of that. You get busy with life and it's like, sometimes you just gotta slow down. And I feel like a lot of times the Lord's met me in the garden, <laughs> it, it, as crazy as it sounds. He met his disciples in the garden also when he wanted to talk to them. And you know, he'll try to get us alone sometimes and I'm out here alone and that's okay. And it's been quiet out here and it's just been me and the Lord and, you know, at first I was disappointed, but it's like, this is the time he set up for me because it was like I was getting down and now it's just like, yeah, I'm crying, <laughs> but I'm, 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 I'm joyful too. I mean, because it was like a lesson and it's, this is how he talks to us and have all this soil I've been going through and, you know, looking for potatoes and you know, like I said, I was starting to get down, but it's like, I didn't leave here empty handed. I left here with a message for him, for, from him. And it's, that's okay, you know? And I'm glad I came out here and, you know, I'm not always gonna, you know, get, you know, like you plant, you sow seeds and you may not always get something, you know, but today I left empty handed but I got something, <laughs> as crazy as that sounds, I got something, I got a word from the Lord. And 
I just wanted to share that with you. Until next time.